Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'd like to nerd out to the science behind how we can keep our houseplants happy and to multiply them in our homes. So if you're into that kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel and send me likes. This video is going to be a three-part series. I'm going to cover three different uh, potting mix here that I've developed. And this is actually very, very important because each plant's uh, family has evolve very differently in their natural habitat and in order for them to be happy in our uh, homes we should give them the optimal conditions and one of them other than sunlight and watering would be the potting mix that you choose for it um, don't get me wrong any plants can literally live in any potting mix as long as you adjust the watering correctly there are minor adjustments that you can do so there's no uh, right or wrong However, if you give them the medium that absorbs and releases water and uh, gives, have that property where the roots really like, uh, they will thrive for you. So the three mediums are the aeroid uh, potting mix right here, uh, the general purpose potting mix, and finally here we have the jungle floor uh, potting mix. So do check out all three videos as I go through with you how to use them, uh, what kind of species would uh, thrive in them, and I will show you also uh, in my around my home uh, a tour of what my plants look like when they're potted in these mediums. I also explain you know the why, like why do they <laughs> like these mediums. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Welcome to the first video in the series. Uh, this is going to be the jungle floor mix and as you can see this really resembles a walk in a forest floor. Um, and this is going to be very good for your jungle floor type plants uh, like your calatheas, begonias, peperomias also love it here. It's good for growing as well as for propagation. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through with you the uh, ingredients and why we use them. Uh, first of all, uh, the, the potting mix that I'm going to show you in the next three episodes, they're not really branded. We haven't figured out a branding or anything for it. We want to keep them sort of uh, homemade and inexpensive and they're uh, currently available at Prima Flora, which is going to be our main distributor. So do check them out over there in case you want to get your hands on one of these. However, if you do want to uh, try your hand at making them, feel free to do it. Uh, there's no recipe, there's no right or wrong, and of course everybody gets uh, have a different availabilities of uh, ingredients in the region so do adjust according to what you have but I'm gonna tell you the principles and then maybe you can figure out on your own like uh, how how it, you can get these ingredients how you can mix your own uh, very uh, first of all we have this um, uh, dried bamboo this actually uh, uh, takes in water but releases them very fairly quickly and as you can see this is in high abundance in real rainforest floors it uh, re represents real organic um, decaying organic material and then the next thing that we have is andam here which is these uh, dry twigs again so they don't really hold on to moisture for very long at all um, and they also provide organic material over time and next we have this uh, uh, pakis chacha which is uh, actually fern uh, roots so the, uh, they were taken from their uh, natural habitat which means that it's considered poaching and if we don't do something about it uh, this will be a problem for the environment. We're currently finding an alternate for this uh, ingredient. However, what it does in this medium is that it actually provides aeration. So as you can see, it will like provide a tent. So if you bury something in it, it's gonna create like an, a few areas there where, where air can go through. So it's, that is its sole purpose basically. It's just to make sure that there's uh, pockets of air that can move around inside. It doesn't compact the, the the potting mix. And then you have uh, uh, burnt rice hulls over here. I don't it's mixed in really well, but the black stuff you see here. So burnt rice hulls are made with carbonized uh, material. It's obviously a uh, burnt rice hulls. It's rice hulls that is burnt. So the carbonized material will help in preventing uh, uh, fungus and bacteria, which is which a lot of our begonias and calatheas are very prone to. It also uh, absorbs and releases uh, moisture very quickly, which is really good. Um, yeah, so it provides a lot of aeration and, and anti-rot properties in, in this potting mix. And then we also have a lot of perlite, as you can see here. This is the chunkier perlite. We have uh, different sized perlites, of course. But yeah, I, I chose the, the chunky ones for this mix. And perlite is actually sterile. It contains no nutrients. However, it does um, provide a lot of aeration in the potting mix. It doesn't retain water for very long at all. It dries up almost immediately which gives the air into the roots, which these plants actually really need. Uh, oh, keep in mind that 
my care here is for uh, a tropical humid a tropical high humidity environment. I know that uh, a lot of you guys in the west or in the north or in the south uh, have different sets of humidity and this potting mix would just dry out too quickly maybe for your plants. And lastly we have some worm casting here and that's going to provide a lot of nutrient and balance uh, fertilizing to the to the plant, to the soil. It's going to promote a healthy bacteria environment basically. So yeah that's my uh, jungle floor potting mix and uh, I guess I'm just going to quickly sift through to this so that you can see the consistency. I, I've, actually for my own mix, I never ever measure, I eyeball everything. But of course for the ones that we're carrying in the store, we do have a measurement which I cannot reveal to you. Uh, my bug business partner would kill me. But yeah, I just want to show you this is what the consistency look like. Um, yeah, it's very light and very airy and it dries up really fast. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through with you the species that I have in my home that is grown in this medium and why they're doing well. So yeah, let's get to it. Here are some apishkias. I got them about a month ago for, uh, in a cheap plant haul video that I have filmed but I'm not sure when I'm going to release it. Yeah, it's in a jungle floor potting mix that is going to uh, allow air into the roots and they seem to really thrive in here. Oh, and I have a really big one. Hang on. There, oh my god, this, this is about three months old. Such a beautiful plant. Oh god, look at that. Oh. So beautiful, I love apishkias. They're like <laughs> so wonderfully underrated. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about them a lot more uh, later on. But yeah, they do like that jungle floor potting mix. And behind here are a lot of calatheas that I actually just bought. So they were bought really cheap as a bundle and it's going to show up in my uh, video soon on uh, Cheap Plants Haul Part 3. So a spoiler here. Yeah, as you can see, it's in my jungle floor potting mix and terracotta and they're doing really well. They're pushing out growth like crazy. I've killed so many calatheas and I'm really happy to have found this solution. And over here we have the uh, Sisters this color, it's looking so beautiful, it grows so quickly and it's in my uh, jungle floor potting mix and it seems to like that. They cannot be overwatered. These guys do like humidity around the roots uh, but if you put them in something that's a little too soggy, retains water too long, it will uh, yellow up and fall off. I'm actually propagating them as you can see here. Uh, so this is a vine that I just pinned down into the next pot and here I'm going to pin the, this node down to another pot. These are both also the jungle floor potting mix. So they can be propagated directly into this. And here we have a lot of begonia propagates. Very, very exciting here. I love this section. So I found that these begonias actually do well when you just plop them right into the potting mix. However, do not put them too deep into the uh, potting mix because as I show you here, I'm going to take this off. This is the leaf that I propagated from. And these are the babies, look. So the, um, the babies will grow at the base of the leaf and if you bury that leaf, uh, the cutting, uh, stand, sorry, the petiole too deep into the potting mix, these babies have no place to emerge and they will die off. So you want to just keep them barely on the surface. Yeah, so I have these all, all propagating directly into um, the jungle floor potting mix and the success rate is really high. I've propagated begonias before in my general purpose potting mix and they all died. So I'm happy to have found this combination. And with begonias, if something dies in here, don't throw the pot away because they are most likely still alive. That grew back from a stump. These are some more empty pots. I don't remember what's in them, but this also grew back from a stump. This tiny little fella, very cute. And um, yeah, there are some here as well, the begonias, they did, I believe the Rex begonias uh, do go into dormancy or when they get stressed or bacteria attack, they do die completely off. But then back off with watering and just leave them be because they'll come back. So this came back from nothing and this is in my jungle floor potting mix, jungle floor potting mix and this as well. So these were actually nothing a while back. This is my section, oh, something ate that leaf. This is my section of like dead plants that <laughs> came back. Uh, from the dead. Oh, and this is my pride and joy. I've killed so many calatheas and all of these calatheas that I'm going to show you soon, they actually died, I would say. They, they lost all the leaves. They only had one to two leaves because I moved them here into this uh, area. I, I did this in a video before, as <laughs> a so spoiler. Uh, and I moved them into a, uh, this terracotta pot which, with holes in the bottom. So this is for orchids actually. 
as you can see here, these are also with holes in them. And then I give them the jungle floor potting mix, which dries out really fast. So Calatheas do like to be dry. They like humidity, but they like to be dry very fast. They like airiness around the roots. And this is grown with so much vigor. This too, oh my God, I'm so happy looking at this because this nearly died. Um, when Calatheas are overwatered, they do crisp up. So it looks like you're underwatering them and you keep watering them, but, but then they keep suffering. So yeah, I water these lightly every day. Uh, and then by the end of the day, in the evening, this potting mix would be very dry on the top, which is fine. I leave it alone and I water it the next day. So water these lightly every day. Again, this is my habit. My habit is that I tend to overwater my plants. So if you're the kind of people who want to water your plants every once a week or so, maybe this potting mix isn't for you because it's going to dry out too fast. But the calatheas are so, oh my gosh, it's not on leaf. The calatheas are so happy with this uh, combination. This is the one I just got actually and it's doing really well. And let me see what else can I Yeah, this one is coming back to this one. I remember it had only one leaf. Uh, left. I, I think that leaf has already died off, but before it died, it gave me all these beautiful leaves and it's in that potting mix. Really nice. And I'm saving this Mekayana as well. <laughs> Growing two little uh, leaves. So this died into like almost a stump. I only I remember only having a few leaves left and now it's, it's um, doing better. It's, again, the whole the, the pot has little holes in them. So the air can actually move into the pot. They like to have air around the roots. So yeah, and that one is doing really well too. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and that one, this is the Conchina, I believe. And this is the Orbifolia. Oh my God, I killed two already. And this one is doing well. Uh, let me see, is there any growth? No, I don't see any new growth points yet, but it's okay, take your time. I'm just happy to have you back because this really was hopeless at some point, but this, uh, Potting mix condition do uh, combination. I mean, do did save this plant and it's doing well. It's gonna be recovering. I'll be doing a Calathea care and propagation video soon, uh, but I need these to recover first. And this is uh, not a Calathea, but it's a Maranta, and it's doing really well too. It loves this uh, potting mix. Yeah, I've I've been struggling with these for a long time too because they tend to be overwatered here, and they will uh, give you browning uh, tips when they're overwatered. Here's a begonia cutting that I put into a jungle floor potting mix. It's been here for about two weeks and I'm filming a video for this. There's so many spoilers in this video. But yeah, uh, it's doing quite well. So I assume that new growth would emerge. Actually, it might already have. Sorry. Yeah, I see something here. This point didn't exist before, so very cool. Uh, so here's some calatheas and uh, they're all in this jungle floor mix. I hope you don't get tired of hearing me say that the name of the mix. But yeah, uh, they're doing so well. These are all rescued. This has been in here for a while. It started with only like three leaves or so. And now it's gotten more leaves. So here's our last stop where I show you some propagate. Uh, these, are the, these two begonias are actually propagated at the same time. And they each had one tip cutting and one leaf cutting in the potting mix. Uh, the one on the right here is not doing so well. It's in a general purpose potting mix and I've killed many begonias in this potting mix. So clearly this is not the right potting mix for it. The uh, one leaf has died off completely and the top cutting is growing pretty slowly. Like, and I noticed that this retains water for too long. Like the pot is actually still quite heavy now after a few days. However, let me quickly show you. Ta-da! The leaf cutting has given me some serious baby begonias. Look at that. They love this potting mix. It makes such a difference. Uh, keep, keep in mind that I have them in the same lighting conditions. Uh, I do water them differently. I water them only when they're dry, but that one dries up really slowly. It took, takes like a week to dry. And this one takes about two to three days to dry. Look at that. This, uh, the top cutting. This keeps flowering profusely and I keep plucking the flowers off like this because it keeps flowering for me and it's doing so well. It loves this jungle floor potting mix. I showed you earlier a lot of begonias that are propagated directly into uh, this potting mix. So if you're looking into propagating begonias, do consider this jungle floor potting mix. It really works, you guys. Look how beautiful the color is. So yeah, on that note, I'm gonna let you stare at this leaf while I say goodbye to you. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are uh, more interested in potting mix and how they affect our plants. 
uh, if you are living in the Indonesia region and you want to consider trying out my potting mix, uh, there will be a link to show you where you can get them. I hope that you guys are all staying safe, that your plants are all happy, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!